Good morning, everyone. There were three kids in a college who were very ambitious. They wanted to reach the stars. And by the end of their college time, they made a pact with one another that we are not going to join any organization. We are not going to be salaried. What we are going to do is we are going to start our own business reach the success that we want to achieve much faster than a salaried person can. What do they do today? They're all salaried, but they're happy and they're successful. And I happen to be one of them. I started my career as a retail banker. Beautiful opportunity, but it wasn't for me. And that got me thinking, what next? What am I supposed to do now? And with this thought in my mind, I reached out to one of my professors at the college, and he gave me some golden advice. He asked me to reach within and think of innovative ways I can improve the processes in place at my current workplace, come up with new solutions, come up with new practices, put my learning to use, and even at today's date, I have been using that at every organization I've worked at, and I must say, I'm grateful to that man that he gave me those wisdom. And what does that mean? It's about a person unleashing their power at the workplace while transforming the organization from within. And they are called entrepreneurs. So who is an entrepreneur? They are this highly energetic people who want to succeed, who are willing to take risks, who are ready to experiment, who don't say no to any challenges. But what they need is some guidance, some trust, some autonomy. And entrepreneurship is all about fostering this set of genius people, giving them that environment that they need, enabling them, empowering them, and giving them that trust so that they can succeed for themselves and for the organization. Why is entrepreneurship imp so important for organizations today? Let's look at some stats. Innovation, employee retention, adaptability, competitive advantage. We organizations have seen growth as per these reports in all these key matrices, and they are golden for any organization at today's state. And what is there for an individual in it? no risks, very less liability, and you get to experiment, you get to derive results, and implement them wherever you go forward. Isn't that something that anyone and everyone wants to do at their workplace? Absolutely. So what makes an entrepreneur successful? It is the organization. It is the managers who are supporting them. And at the end of the day, the key is the work group they work with. These guys are teeming with energy, bubbling with energy, but they need to be guided with the organizational goals. So that's where the manager comes in. They need to, while entrusting the entrepreneur to be able to come up with solutions, need to keep them focused, keep nudging them in the right direction so that it is helpful for the entrepreneur and as well as for the organization. So let's do a thought experiment. Let's talk about two scenarios here. The first one is an IT office. What comes to mind? Cubicles, workstations, employees working in day in and day out. They meet each other during breaks, I guess. But that's it. Now, imagine another scenario, a boardroom where an advertising company is discussing their next pitch. Ideas flying around. Feedback is being provided, and some of these ideas get selected. And once selected, these ideas get polished. Not one, many. And they are improved upon, and then finally pitched to the customer. And there could be multiple of them as well. Now let's try to implement the second scenario in the first. And that happened in my organization. 
and it was done by Eric and Anjana, two of my beloved managers I have worked under. What did they do? They said, no cubicles, no individual contributor. Let's get into a room. Let's understand what each of us do. And how did that help? We, all of us got to know what others were doing. We had ideas, we had interests, we were able to propose solutions, and we were able to advance the cause, getting at a solution faster. And thus, we were able to improve processes, come up with new solutions, and believe me when I say the possibilities are just endless. So how do you build an entrepreneurial team? There are three keys here. A leadership which supports and fosters entrepreneurs. It is highly important that they are bestowed upon the trust and the autonomy required for them to succeed. Otherwise, they'll fall flat. So just imagine a group of such individuals being brought together. It might be chaos, but in the positive direction. And the next is the organization who needs to recognize and reward these individuals for every success they achieve. And then, at the ground level, there is these managers who, do, who need to execute this, who need to bring the team together, who need to speak and entrust the power in these individuals which will give them the confidence to think beyond the box and start experimenting. Just imagine the scenario where a group of such individuals with multiple skill sets, with m from multiple form, uh, you know, uh, functionalities come together, they can achieve a lot together. Are there challenges? Absolutely. There are a lot of challenges that might come in the way. There are always limited resources. There's always a fear of digression from, a, from the goal, and that's where the managers come in. And that's what they need to monitor, that these highly motivated individuals stay on track, stay focused, use the resources provided by the company properly and for the right cause. And as long as a group is brought together with, at multiple age groups and from different function groups, they are bound to succeed because ideas will flow, feedbacks will flow, and then they will together take decisions on what is the best way forward. Let me give you an example. We know Gmail, we know Posted from 3M, and we know PlayStation from Sony. Do you guys know what is common in these three? These were developed by entrepreneurs at their organizations. And remember the three people I spoke about at the start? They still want to start a business of their own. Absolutely, they want it. But they are successful in their organization. So I guess that has to wait. Thank you.